we have seen updating the data deleting the data now we are going to see how to view the data okay whenever i click on this i button the data should whatever i am having here the user data should be displayed for me in the form of model okay now here before that okay while i was recording i just didn't do this one whatever variable you have given inside this one the same variable you have to give here okay only then it will be deleted okay this part i just missed out i, I just trimmed this one while editing but you have to do this okay so again i'm just recording this one i'm just informing you this okay you just have to write this now below this i'm just going to write one comment i'll be writing here profile view now below this first i'm just going to write the document and inside this whenever i click on this profile button i have to open that so here i'll be writing click separated by comma and a dot profile okay this i have given already inside this one inside this anchor tag i have just given this class you can see here this is the delete and inside this edit we are having edit and inside this profile we are having this class so i have just selected this class and here i am just accessing that one okay a dot profile and inside this i am just going to pass the function now i'll be passing the function okay for viewing the profile you don't have to write separate function you don't have to call the separate action because this is the same as editing users okay whenever we click on that edit the model will be opened and the data will be displayed so using that same action and using the same function we are going to perform this one so directly we are writing javascript for this we are not having any separate function for this and also we are not going to write any separate action for this one okay directly using update we are just going to access the data and we will be displaying that one okay now here i am having this now here i am just going to create one variable uid and inside this i am just going to access the data in the same way however we have access for deleting and for updating you can see in the same way i have just access that one and here i am just getting that data now let me just come to editing editing part okay this is the editing part and from here i am just going to copy till here i'll just copy this one and below this i'll be pasting this one okay now here i'm having ajax i'm having this url php advanced to and ajax.php type is get data type is json and data i'm having this id i'm just extracting and here i am having this one action will be the same edit users whatever we have done for updating the same action we are going to perform here and inside this before okay i just don't want this one okay directly i just want to display the data so i'm just removing that now here i'm just going to write here success directly i'm just going to write here success and inside this i'll be passing this function now okay i'll be telling you what all i'm just going to pass now inside this i'm just going to pass one parameter that is user because whichever id i click that particular user i have to display so i'm just passing one parameter that is nothing but user now inside this i'm just going to check the condition now if my user is present okay if i have clicked on that edit user if the user is present only then i have to come inside this if loop and i have to perform all the actions i'll just separate using comma and i'll just come up and from here i'm just going to copy this error i'll copy this one and below this i'm just going to paste i'll just remove this now below this i just have to close my document so i'm just going to close this one okay like this you have to close and that error will go okay this is for error and this is for success and this whatever i have written okay this is for ajax okay ajax closing and finally this last one is for my document okay this last part is for my document wherever i have closed so you have to close properly or else you will be getting this error if my user is present now here inside this i'm just going to create one variable let me just give my variable name as profile and inside this using this backticks okay this entire data inside profile.php we have already created this model and here we are having all these buttons and inside this model body i have just created one div okay now inside this div i have to display all the data so here in this id i'm just going to display in place of that that data will be displayed and that data will whenever i click on the button that data will be shown to me so here what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to create one div and for this div i'm just going to give the class and class let me just write here row okay these are bootstrap classes you don't have to worry now inside this i'm just going to create another div okay instead of writing here okay directly i'm just going to come here and below this i'll be writing so that i'll be getting proper colors now here let me just create one div and for this div i'll just give the class name as row and inside this later on i'm just going to copy this and i will be pasting inside script.js okay only to get proper colors i'm just writing here now inside this i'm just going to create another div and for this div i'll just give the column small i'll be giving and let me just write here 6 and also i'll be giving for medium screen devices i'll just give here 4 
inside this i just want image and my image source is nothing but inside uploads folder inside uploads folder i'm having image and image i'll be accessing like this okay user dot photo okay whatever column name i'm having inside the database i'm just writing that one user dot photo and also i'm just going to give here alt like something image and class i'm just going to give class i'll be giving here rounded okay you can give anything now below this below this i'm just going to create another div and for this div i'm just going to give the class as call sm6 and also i'm just going to give call okay before i have given four here now i'm just going to give here eight so that it will be summing up to 12 now inside this i just want to display the name of the user so h4 and for this i'm just going to give the class as text primary which will display the text in blue color and also let me just write here inside this dollar user and i just want to display the name so dot name okay these are the column names whatever i am writing here these are the column names this we are not getting in blue color because we are writing inside profile.php we have not used backtick set okay so i am getting this one now below this below this i am just going to create one paragraph and inside this i just want to display one icon so let me just come to form.php and from here i am just going to copy this uh, email icon okay whatever we have written for email i am just going to copy this one and here inside this inside profile.php i'm just going to paste that one and below this and after this one after i wherever my i is closing after that i just want to display the user email let me just write here user dot email okay we are done with this email now here i'm just going to write one break okay i want one break now below this in the same way i'm just going to copy for phone let me just come to form.php and from here i'm just going to copy for mobile number i'll copy this one and below this i'm just going to paste and in the same way i'm just going to write for mobile user dot mobile i'll just close this now my paragraph is ending here my div is ending here and my div is ending here okay let me just copy this entire thing i'll cut from here i'll just save this i'll come to script.js now here i'm just going to remove this and also i'll be removing this back text now here i'll just write this back text i'll close this now inside this i'm just going to paste that one okay the entire thing whatever i have written inside profile.php i have just copied that and i have just pasted that one here now you can see i'm getting this proper colors user dot photo this user dot photo okay whatever column name i'm having inside the database i'm just pasting that one okay we are having this name email and finally we are having this mobile now this entire thing i just have to display here okay inside this profile.php inside this diff container in place of this i have to display the entire thing so here below this i'm just going to extract that id now okay whatever id i have given here i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste dot html and inside this i just have to display the entire thing okay this entire thing i just have to display and this entire thing is stored inside this variable okay profile i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste i'll save this okay now we are not going to perform any action we are not going to write any function for this okay only this much we have to write only so much of code we have to write to see the data of the user okay here i have just written this document and whenever i click on this profile okay that icon i just want this function to be executed and inside this i'm just getting that id okay whichever icon i click i'm just getting that id and storing inside this uid variable now once i get this one okay i have just done the same thing like this once i get this once i get this id i'm just performing the ajax and inside this i'm just sending this url okay php advanced to and here i'm having ajax.php then type is get data type is json and data i am sending the same thing okay id is equal to uid and action is equal to edit users data okay this action we have already performed in ajax.php whenever we were editing this one you can see here we have already performed this action and we are having this output here now here i have passed the same thing then i am having this success and also inside editing you can see here i have just accessed the same thing okay same id i have accessed and here i am just passing that one inside data now here i have not written before because i have not passing anything inside the database from the database i'm just displaying the data so i have not written before if you want you can write then also you will not have any issues then inside success i'm just calling this function if i am getting some response if my user is present then i just want to display this entire form model and this entire form model should be displayed inside this 
profile.php inside this div container wherever i have given this id there it should be displayed okay here i am having this output and then html and this variable i have passed okay whatever variable i created and this entire thing i have stored inside that variable and here i have just passed this variable okay this is how we are going to perform this one now let's check for this output okay now let's see let me just come here okay now you can see here i am having this php advanced to index.php now here i am having this output now whenever i click on this view profile you can see the entire data whatever i am having from the database that is been displayed to me okay this is how the data will be displayed to me now let me just come to profile.php inside profile.php you can see here i am having this id let me just uh, let me just let it load okay here i am having this id and in place of this okay all the data whatever i am having inside that it is been displayed let me close this now again when i click on this you can see that the data will be displayed and this will be my output again when i click on this you can see the data will be displayed okay whichever user i click that data will be displayed okay now whenever i click on this delete okay okay you can see user has been deleted successfully okay whenever we are going to update and when we will add the new user we are going to see okay how to give the styling for that one as well okay you can see we can see the entire data you just have to access the id and you have to pass the same action whatever we have done for updating you don't have to write any function because inside this ajax.php while updating itself while editing the user itself we have just called this one okay we have called all these things we have performed all the necessary actions whatever it's to be performed so you don't have to worry you don't have to write separate action while editing because whenever we click on this edit the same way the user is getting displayed okay the data is getting displayed to us so in the same way the same action is being performed whenever i click on this the data will be displayed okay so you don't have to write separate action and separate function for this okay only inside script.js you have to write so much and you will be getting the output inside script.js you just have to do the same thing okay whatever we have done you just have to do the same thing and you are going to get the output okay this is how we are going to perform this next we are going to see how to search the data how to search the data how to display the data of that particular user